Hey, what's up guys, it's Chris Mick, and yesterday we are back on Modern Warfare, like I wouldn't play anything else. I'm gonna be playing the playlist 1v1 me bro for a little bit just while I talk and we'll see how it goes. Maybe I win, maybe I lose. There is only two choices. I don't know what you expected. All right, I think I'm gonna just run AX50 on this shit. I bet these kids are sweating on this. But it's been a couple days since I recorded. I really just wanted a good weekend of, you know, just grinding on Fortnite because the new season came out, playing playing a bit of Call of Duty as well. Just feeling good as a whole, just wanted a nice little... My God, dude, I can't fucking stand when people just use the Car 98, like use an actual sniper rifle. There we go, fuck off. There we go. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here, this kid is shit. <laughs> really, just camping in the fucking corner and that's how he fucking wins? Are you kidding me? I'm not playing that again. That was boring as fuck, holy shit. A big thing I wanna talk about recently just became trending on Twitter was uh, hashtag remove SBMM, which if you don't understand what that means, ew. Um, it stands for uh, skill-based matchmaking. It was announced, or I don't even think it was ever announced, but um, that uh, Modern Warfare has skill-based matchmaking, Black Ops 4 had skill-based matchmaking, I don't know if World War 2 did, but um, each, it, it's been a topic in the community for a long time, and recently it just became trending. Um, like, Obey Methy tweeted, feeling like remove skill-based matchmaking could apply to not only Fortnite, but to games like Apex Legends and Marvel Warfare as well. Why are we being punished for being above average? We don't want to scream every lie we get into, it's just not fun at all. Um, I've talked with, I've talked about this before, I don't know in a video, but definitely with uh, my buddy Jackson, also known as possibly bisexual. I fully agree with remove skill based matchmaking, 100%. I, I'm, I don't want to sweat inside every single game I ever play. From the Apex Legends, I, I think it was the creative director, he announced or uh, officially said that actually it only affects 80% of players, like it positively infects 80% of players. Um, so the majority of players, they're gonna like, not outreach, but like, what, what am I trying to say? The majority of players, um, like skill-based matchmaking and just like this game like i'm getting fucking sweaty immediately but i mean fortnite has had skill-based matchmaking for a while apex legends i think has had it literally since day one like there's are you fucking really sitting in that corner like this is the issue is that these fucking kids are playing this like it's a goddamn gb and he's just sitting in the fucking corner like what else would he be doing right like why else is he playing this game mode like literally just fucking doing nothing with his worthless, pathetic fucking life. And this is the issue is that you take a break from a game for like a three days. Like that's legit. I took a three day break from recording and that. And I'm in these lobbies where these kids are fucking playing. Like it's a competitive match. Like it's literally CDL. Like there's a playlist for it. Go play there. I want to be able to hop into a lobby, hit some easy clips and then that's all. But nah, they're fucking hard carrying on the point like there's no fucking tomorrow That was a triple weapon swap feat. It's shooting my body. Okay, buddy. All right, well, I think that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out. It knows I'm doing something good, not something... I need to stop tapping my desk because it's probably making some audio. It lets me know that I'm doing something good and not something bad because being bad is not good. Um, but it's been Chrismic, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.